Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the time domain behavior of causal signals corresponding to a double real pole as a function of the pole location. So we are going to look at what is the influence of the location of the poles on the behavior of the signals in time domain. Now consider this circle as the unit circle and then we have a pole at a value a. The value of a can be either less than 1 or equal to 1 or greater than 1. That is the poles can be here or. So there are three possible locations for the poles. That is one where the value a that is a is less than 1 or the absolute value of a is less than 1. So in this case the location is inside the unit circle and the other two cases the first the second one is the location the pole is at a equal to 1 or the pole is at a where the value of a is equal to 1 and now in the third uh, possibility mm, the poles are located at or the poles are located at a equal to uh, a that is greater than 1 so we have three possible pole locations and we are talking about double poles that means each of them is actually there in each of the cases that is for a less than 1 we have two poles at z equal to a and for a equal to 1 we have again two poles at a, a equal to 1 or z equal to 1 and two poles at z equal to a where a is greater than 1. So now the question is what is the corresponding time do what is the corresponding time domain behavior of the signals for each of these three cases. So, so the first step is to determine the corresponding z transform that is x of z is equal to can be written uh, the x of z can be written as a z over z minus a whole square because we have two poles the denominator must be z minus a whole square so it should be a z by z minus a whole square so uh, by dividing both the numerator and denominator with z square we have a z inverse over 1 minus a z inverse whole square so that is the uh, rational polynomial uh, structure of the z transform. Now this can be rewritten in the following form that is x of z is equal to minus z multiplied by a z power minus 2 on 1 minus a z inverse whole square. Now the term on the right side that is a uh, minus z into a z power minus 2 by 1 minus a z inverse whole square can be rewritten as minus z and then derivative of 1 by 1 minus a z inverse that is the derivative of 1 by 1 minus a z inverse is actually a z power minus 2 by 1 minus a z inverse whole square. So the x of z is written as minus z minus a z in power minus 2 1 minus a z inverse whole square which can be rewritten as minus z derivative of 1 by 1 minus a z inverse. So, so based on the derivative property of the uh, z transform we can say that the x signal x of n is nothing but equal to n into a power n u of n because the z transform of 1 by 1 minus a z inverse is a power n u of n so and then using the derivative property the uh, inverse z transform of x of z is nothing but n times a power n u of n now the signal x of n can be written as that is an alternative expression of the signal x of n is uh, n equal to 0 we have 0 n equal to 1 we have a based on the definition it is a that is 1 into a power 1 and then we have 2 into a square that is 2 a square 3 into a cube and so on so this is the uh, expansion of the signal x of n now for values of a less than 1 that is for values of a less than 1 the structure of the signal can be seen as follows that is the signal so for a less than 1 we have a decaying signal after certain time that is for uh, a less than 1 uh, for n equal to 0 we have 0 and n equal to 1 and n equal to 2 say for example for a is equal to 1 by 2 we will have 1 by 2 for both the values that is at a equal to 1 by 2 uh, both a and 2a square are, are, are equal to 1 by 2 and then the value slowly decays. Therefore the corresponding time domain signal for this pole 0 plot that is having two poles at uh, z equal to a that is for a less than 1 the corresponding time domain behavior is given by this signal that is x of n will be a, uh, it will go or it will have 
uh, values uh, a and 2a square and then slowly it the values decay and for the second case that is for a equal to 1 let us look at the signal that is for a is equal to 1 the values of the signal are 0 1 2 3 and so on that means the first value uh, first value is 0 the second value is 1 and third value that is a, uh, n equal to 2 we have uh, the value 2 and then n equal to 3 the value is 3 and so on that is the values keep increasing so it's a increasing function and it is given by 1 2 3 4 and so on or in fact x of n is equal to n it is x of n is equal to n that is it's an increasing function within n therefore for this pole zero plot with a equal to 1 that is uh, with the poles on the unit circle uh, two poles on the unit circle the corresponding time domain signal is given by x of n equal to n that means it's an increasing signal now for the last case the time domain signal x of n is a uh, even more uh, it's an again an increasing function with a greater uh, rate that is the first value is again given by that is at n equal to 1 at n is equal to 1 the value is say a and which is obviously greater than 1 and for n equal to 2 it is given by 2 a square that is much stronger that is the second value that is at n equal to 2 is 2 a square since a is greater than 1 this is much greater than 1 are much greater than value a so and this value keeps increasing and this value keeps increasing that is for n equal to 3 it will be 3 a cube that is 3 a cube so the values keep increasing so this is a faster that is the rate is very high increasing signal so that therefore for the third option that is for the third pole zero plot where the poles are outside the unit circle signal is clearly unstable and for the second one the signal is linearly increasing but still it is an increasing function and for the first case for a less than one it is a decaying signal so to summarize uh, we looked at the time domain behavior of causal signals uh, for uh, corresponding to a double pole uh, real value double pole as a function of pole location for the first case where for the first case where the poles are located inside the unit circle that is value of a is less than one the time domain behavior is given by a signal where the values of the signal decay with uh, time or with n and the second case in the second case where the poles are located located on the unit circle then the signal is given by uh, an increasing signal that is x of n is equal to n and in the third case where uh, the poles are located outside the unit circle uh, in that case that is a greater than 1 the signal x of n uh, again which is given by n to a power n is a increasing signal with even a greater that is it's non-linearly increasing signal thanks for watching